Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, really any placement of Aquarius. This is going to be your reading for May 16th through the 31st, 2022. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome if you are new. These two weeks are going to be action packed. We are in between the full moon in Scorpio and the eclipse and then the new moon in Gemini on the 30th. So it's the two week post eclipse um, kind of doorway. Also Mercury is retrograde. So I'm so curious to see what is going to come out for you guys today. Um, the link below to my website, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It does not matter where you live. Um, I have clients all around the world at this point. So there's also a 15% discount off your very first um, reading with me or healing. So you can take advantage of that. And all right. You saw, Aquarius, the card that jumped out for you. So this is going to be your overall energy for this reading, the antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Woo-wee is it. I can feel this on every level as well. Eclipses are really forcing things to the surface to be dealt with, to be cleansed, to be healed. And with that comes a lightness, a new momentum, a renewed energy and spirit. So... Um, I actually really love that you have the antelope spirit because this tells me that you've been doing your work and things are starting to move forward. You're gaining that momentum to what it is that you want and need. So really beautiful. Let me see what other messages we have for you, Aquarius. Second row is for your specific person. Those of you dealing with a specific person, what do we need to know? And last row, final messages, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, wow, all the cards are out. We are starting with Three of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Empress card. The messages I'm seeing for you, immediately I see you as the Empress card here. And turning your back on anyone or anything that doesn't take you seriously or treat you in your highest and best way or the way that you deserve to be treated. I'm seeing this in regards to friendships, also romantic situations. Uh, the Knight of Wands energy can be a little flighty, a little bit in and out, a little bit of a game player, um, something like that. So I just, again, you Aquarius here with turning your back on this kind of saying, I don't have time for games. I don't have time for somebody who's not sure about me. I don't have time for, you know, this hot and cold here, not here type energy. And with the Three of Cups as well, this is showing... Um, um, I'm seeing this as a message of you letting go of maybe more open or casual dating. Like you're really wanting something exclusive and something that is more committed. So I'm proud of you, Aquarius. For those of you this is resonating with, it's kind of like you're, you're putting yourself back on your throne. And you're saying, enough is enough. I'm ready for something real. I'm, I don't want to play games anymore. And you're just kind of like done. And it actually feels really light and quite easy where maybe in the past when you've tried to make a decision like this, it felt hard, it felt challenging, maybe you questioned it or doubted it, and right now I'm just feeling you're like, okay, it is what it is, I am where I am, and this is what I want and what I need. And you're not really apologizing, and I love that for you, Aquarius. So um, you could be dealing with an air, uh, excuse me, a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also seeing water, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer for you. All right, next row, those of you dealing with a specific person. Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, Eight of Swords. Okay, a couple of these cards came out in the Libra reading as well, so really interesting. A lot of resistance here around having clarity with something. So the Eight of Swords is showing blocked energy, stuck energy, um, you know, a mental block, an ego block. Um, I think I said in the Libra reading, it's like an energy of you don't know what you don't know. Like it's kind of a blind spot in your awareness. So Aquarius, those you are dealing with or your specific person, they're having some resistance around growing here. Um, I'm seeing this in the way that they think, the way that they perceive the world, their experience of things and situations. It's almost like they're not able to see opportunity. They more so see fear and block and challenges. 
And this three of wands in the middle is like the universe saying, hello, there's other opportunities. There's, um, you know, positive things. There's something you can take a risk on, take a chance with, follow your passion. And then the resistance pops in. And it's like, no, that doesn't make sense. No, that's too risky. No, I don't deserve that or whatever it is. So um, your specific person, I'm more so seeing this, they're like pretty blocked in their life which is spilling over into their connection with you. If they're blocked in their own life, they're gonna be blocked in regards to growing in a healthy, thriving um, partnership as well. So doesn't mean the relationship needs to end or that it's not gonna move forward, Aquarius, but what I'm hearing is you need to be aware of some of these characteristics or things that you're being shown, especially during eclipse season. What we are being shown right now is things that we've been ignoring or pushing down or not wanting to deal with. So give yourself permission to see it, to feel it, to allow the awareness, and then you will have the clarity of what to do with it, okay? But if we keep ourselves with the blinders on, we're not able to move forward. And remember, life is speeding up, Aquarius, so you're kind of not being given a choice here. It's time to really face what some of this resistance has been. Uh, between you and your specific person because the energies I can feel it like they're wanting to shift they're wanting to be different and that's going to take both of you um, being aware of that but more so I'm seeing you be aware of it I think you are the more connected one or like um, in tuned one I should say okay so again a lot of fire I already mentioned it but Leo Sagittarius and Aries and I'm also having some uh, air pop up so if it's not an Aquarius it could be a Libra or a Gemini third row all right Aquarius nine of swords the moon card and the death card there is some serious deep healing clearing and releasing happening here you are moving through a cycle of completion and with the nine of swords here this is really where um, we get caught in our thoughts our worries our fears which are linked to our deepest inner desires and wishes so what is that for you, Aquarius? Are you afraid to let go of your specific person and be back in the, um, you know, not having somebody or not knowing if you or when you will meet somebody? Is it your fear of um, not having what you want or settling for what you feel you deserve more of? What is it that is popping up for you? Because the Empress energy here is asking you to really look at where you settle in your life no more settling and once you own that Aquarius you're gonna start to see where you have been settling and that's where things need to shift and unravel and that's what I'm seeing here with this moon card and the nine of swords and that is moving you into the death card which is the cycle the ending the release the culmination so that there can be a rebirth, there can be a new beginning, there can be a fresh start. It's really hard to speed up life when you're carrying a whole bunch of baggage or you're carrying a lot that you're not willing to release. So what is it that needs to be released with the moon, with these two, the full moon in Scorpio and the new moon in Gemini? What is it? A lot of medicine here for you, Aquarius, which I keep hearing. So I'm also seeing Cancer energy and strong Scorpio energy for you as well. All right, let me get you any other messages. Aquarius you've got study I know you guys love to learn and grow but this study I'm seeing more as a self-study message so kind of some of the messages that came up in the reading where do you need to give yourself permission to be aware or to see what you haven't seen before in regards to yourself in regards to a relationship that you might be involved in and then allow yourself time to study that observe it what does it mean? What can shift? Where are you settling? That's also a recurring message for you. All right, let me get you a spirit animal message and then we'll wrap up the reading. All 
All right, Aquarius, you've got the ram. Perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. Whew, okay, it's bringing me back to that message of letting go of the baggage. Um, how, how do these rams reach the mountaintop if they're carrying a bunch of stuff that they do not need, right? They've got to let, let go. I'm also seeing that here with the antelope spirit. So <laughs> I love these two um, spirit animal messages for you, but the ram specifically is, you know, you're having a big breakthrough Aquarius of getting to a point where no more settling, you're truly gonna have what it is that you want and anything not in alignment with that is gonna fall away and life is gonna speed up for you. So keep going. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. You know what to do. Trust yourself. So I really love that final message for you. Um, and I think that's all that's coming through. So I hope these messages resonate. If not, no worries. You can always watch your moon sign, your rising, or any other placement of Aquarius. Thank you for the likes and subscribes. They really do make a difference. And if you missed the intro, I am a clairvoyant psychic reader and healer. I specialize in distance readings and healings. It does not matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point. So the link below to my website has all the information available to you as well as the services that I offer and there is a 15% discount off your very first um, healing session with me. So you can take advantage of that. It is a powerful time to be receiving um, any form of healing and support, whether it's from me or someone else you resonate with. Use the power of eclipse season and I'm just wishing you all the best, Aquarius. Have a beautiful rest of May. I'm sending you lots of love, and I will see you back here for the first half of June readings. Take care.